Um, I still want to hear. Okay, now can we hear the co-op games that folks recommend? Yeah. Video. So game, sorry. What it, board video game. game? Video game or or board, or game? board game? Yeah, because they were not specified. Um, um, I play Pandemic Legacy with my husband. Ooh. He's fun. Yeah. Have you played the game. second season? I've played the second and the zeroth season. Ooh. Oh. Both both are very good. Um, and because we live together and we can't go out, it's e very easy to schedule. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you have to play with me now. Yeah. Uh, we also play um, Wavelength Cooperative. I know Molly has been doing that as well. Wavelength is fun. And Codenames Duet is cooperative. I'm just looking at oh. my game shelf right now. Um, <laughs> very good games. All. Um, so we in the realm of legacy games and technically towards the end of it, it does turn into a generally everybody against one person. Uh, but for the majority <gasps> of the game, it's, it's, uh, it's cooperative and that's betrayal. Oh, um, I want to play the legacy version. That sounds so good. We, so we played the legacy version last year, um, on stream myself Cameron, Ben, Adam, and Graham. Uh, it took us about a year and a bit, I think, to get through the whole thing. Um, but it was a ton of fun. It was it was super, super well done. And I I missed that game, and I want to play some more. I think we got the Scooby-Doo version but... um, at the office that I really want to check out. Oh, yeah, Betrayal like... Scooby-Doo, yeah. Yeah. I mean, it's all basically just it's Betrayal. It's just skinned with different things, but I, I love it. I'm excited. I want to see I'm trying to think of video game though, like co-op video games. I I really liked Portal Two, but I feel like I need something more recent. But that was a uh, lot of Overcooked fun. is pretty fun. Oh yeah, I've heard very good things. I again, I think we've played that a bunch on stream. That looks like a sweet game. I've never I've never heard of that one. Is that a board game? A video game? That's Overcooked? a video game. It's a oh. video game. It's like a frantic kitchen simulator where you're making burgers and stuff. Oh, that sounds fun. Yeah. Um, as I mentioned uh, yesterday or earlier on, um, I've been playing actually games with my brother um, who lives in Boston. Um, and so we've been playing um, uh, online games. And uh, we've been really enjoying Spirit Fair because um, that's uh, it's 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 co-op um, where you one person plays uh, the girl and one play, person plays her cat. Uh, and it's great because they, they can do all the same things except the cat can't talk to people. <laughs> Amazing. <it's> <laughs> um, also, it's, it's one of the only games I've played where uh, hugging is a game action that has important uh, er effects on the game state. Um, yeah, it's just a wonderful little game. It's great. It's I, neat though because it's it's the kind of game where you can play it by yourself, and then the cat is just like controlled by the AI and goes around and does stuff, or a person can take over control of the cat and play it as well. But there's no like it's great because there's no um, there's no danger and, and like it's not super like reflex heavy or anything like that. So you can play it with lots of different you know skill levels or that kind of thing. Tammy and I just recently uh, played that they just released the co-op version of Untitled Goose Game. So mm -hmm. I was uh, going to bring that up. Yeah, yeah. We, Tammy and I played that all the way through. Tammy watched me play a little bit of Untitled Goose Game, and uh, we we played it all the way through in one night, two player, and it's tons of fun. You can get up to all sorts of shenanigans when you're two goose geese when you're geese <laughs> when you're gooses Go gooses you two goose. Oh man, it, it, there's a couple of parts where Tammy felt really bad about all the terrible things we were doing to people. <laughs> it was delightful. That's, so much empathy from Tammy. Yeah, game <laughs> game playing as intended, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, a, a neat game that I play with my brother that isn't technically a co-op game but works very well in co-op is um, the Return of the Obra Dinn, um, which uh, oh, yeah. is a neat kind of. It's this really cool um, uh, sort of mystery game. But the neat thing about it is it's basically all about sort of observation and problem solving. And so like I play with my brother where I was like I was ostensibly in control of like moving around and looking at stuff, but um, we're 
both so technically I was playing the game, but he was he was basically just watching my gameplay and uh and we're both playing it because the actual gameplay is figuring out what the heck is going on. Um and so it actually works very, very well as a as a co-op thing, especially when you have, you know, you can have like one person kind of taking notes and look or you know, paying attention to different so you might notice something that somebody else doesn't and that kind of stuff. So it was uh that was a lot of fun. Another fun little co-op game that I played. Uh, Ashton? <laughs> uh, Ashton? He was going to talk about the fun it's, little game of Desert Bus that he was playing, yeah. and then... Peekaboo is the game that Ashton <laughs> likes to play. That's a... Go on. <laughs> 